Hi, everybody. May we pause for five minutes to think about life, God, and the Bible. We have been trying to understand what it means to be mentally healthy during this crisis. We now look at Paul's words in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 16. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 16. Paul tells us that we need to know the mind of the Lord so that we receive instructions for life. Then Paul says this, But we have the mind of Christ. How do we have the mind of Christ? How do we receive the mind of Christ? Earlier in 1 Corinthians 2, Paul tells the Corinthian church that when he came to them, he did not come with eloquence or mere human wisdom. His message was not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit. Paul makes a distinction between mere human wisdom and God's wisdom. God's wisdom is the mind of Christ given to us when we give our lives over to Jesus. Who is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is God's personal presence in us. When we give our lives over to Jesus, God puts his personal presence within us, the Holy Spirit. This does not mean that we become robots under the technical input of the Holy Spirit. On the contrary, when God transforms us through the Holy Spirit, we become more human. We become who we are created to be. Since the beginning of time as we know it, uh, God has always intended to transform us. However, when the first man and the first woman disobeyed God in the garden, we fell from the human standard that God wanted us to experience. God has done something about this. God becomes a human being in the person of Jesus so that he can redeem us, so that he can transform us to become who we ought to be. Jesus is God who becomes one of us so that he can save us. How can we prepare ourselves for this transformation that Jesus wants us to experience through the Holy Spirit? As you have learned in these five minutes windows, um, I make it a spiritual priority in life to do two things. I read the Bible and I pray. God speaks to me through the words of the Bible. However, as we are created in the image of God, we are created for relationship. God not only desires us to hear him, he also wants us to speak to him too, to develop the relationship with him. This is where prayer comes in. So, we hear God through the words of the Bible, but God hears us through the words of our prayers. As we engage in this two-way conversation with God, we develop the mind of Christ. Jesus Christ is God who becomes one of us, a human being. To be more like Christ is to be more human. I am indebted to my mother who taught me a lot about reading the Bible and praying. Mom had a difficult life growing up in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. There was alcoholic addiction in her family. It brought a lot of strife and heartache. However, their house was close to a school run by missionaries from Britain. She went to that school. Jesus claimed mom and transformed her through the influence of these missionaries. Mom wanted her two sons to follow in her footsteps when it came to reading the Bible and praying. When we were young, mom read the Bible with us every night. She also made sure that we memorized some Bible verses. One of these verses was Paul's statement in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. He talks about how the Holy Spirit develops the mind of Christ in us. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 12. What we have received is not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, 
so that we may understand what God has freely given us. May Christ develop his mind in us through the Holy Spirit. Amen.